What is going on? I'm Zedmont, fully, fully stressed to the max, so please consider throwing code Zedmont in that shop. Nothing major, just life stuff. Have not touched warships in, uh, what are we at here? One day, two hours. Not since we left off yesterday. Sitting in 17 with the four engine room. Goodness, don't have any of the extra defenses, don't have that building damage, don't have building health. We were saving four, five engine rooms. Also, heavy choppers have not been upgraded. The warship's world has likely passed me by. We have three chests available, and you could insert a thinly veiled boob chest sort of joke here, but I don't have the time, patience, or energies. Uh, we got into 17 by beating five engine room players. I'll show you how I'm doing that. And this is against uh, some sort of rainbow name, not sure. Quick note, reminder, if they only have single shot defenses, don't drop your heavies quite yet. Also, quick note that your troops will go to right about here and your Zookas will shoot across the gap and the machine gun will shoot them in the face. You will be unhappy. That is why I am using all of my GBE on machine guns. Only have tick four barrage. Uh, sorry, I dropped some troops over there. They wrapped around. We got some goodness out of that. Probably should take a breath here. We're getting a little bit fast forward. I'm watching the replays on four times mode. I'm speaking on four times mode. So, um, things to be aware of on four engine Five engine room accounts, of course, are those gaps. Also, machine guns you want to be wary of. People in five engine room probably have boom cannons and mortars and doom cannons and things by now, but back then you didn't. Um, also, quick note, if you have tick four barrage, these things are 40,000 health, so if you bump it up to max, you can use three barrages to get rid of an engine room. Also, you get more value or more likelihood of getting rid of machine guns and mortars and boom cannons and the like. I like dropping some troops way out wide. You get all sorts of goodness out of it. On that first attack, I dropped my heavies first, then my zookas. Didn't work out. This timing was way better. Reminder that heavies walk faster than zookas. So, um, that stuff is all fairly obvious. Also, tick one heavy choppers probably not gonna cut it as people get more defensive building damage. Uh, people in early five engine rooms could be sitting there with 150% building damage if they have this one and this one and you guessed it, this one. So a lot of players, I think, we're planning on going this road into six engine rooms. That got changed as soon as this node got highlighted and people started going up into shock launchers. So that's probably the path that I'm going. Those shock bombs just teasing people. I'll show you one more hit. I think this was my fastest hit on a five engine room base. And again, single shot, single shot, single shot. And you'll notice that my heavies were dropped over here, trying to distract that machine gun early on. If our Zookas got in its range, didn't have to worry about it. And as you can see there, don't always get enough rockets hitting that three by three defense. Um, just luck of the draw. You get 15 rockets in barrage. Sometimes all of them land where you want and sometimes you get 13 or 14. That is why you don't always get rid of machine guns when you're dropping barrages on top of them. You guys probably know all this stuff, but talking about mundane boom beach details are helping me settle my nerves. Dealing with banks is an absolute nightmare. Um, let's go. And now the reason why I stopped attacking yesterday, getting into 17 was that everyone was getting to five engine rooms and I knew that collecting my chest was gonna be a gong show, probably gonna lose. I might cut out some of these attacks as we get into five engine rooms because watching me just get pummeled, that might be entertaining and might be enjoyable for some of you, but uh, I'm not sure I have the uh, wherewithal, that's not the right word. I'm not sure I have the patience today. Just Let's just stick to simple words. Sorry, I am completely fried.
yeah, picking up a new vehicle tomorrow, dealing with three different banks, dealing with bank tellers, uh, trying to be so, so polite, and it is so, so difficult at times. Um, <clears throat> this should be the same thing. One, two, three, four. I like dropping this heavy on this far left. That way, in the event that this Zuka gets in the way, don't have to worry too, too much. Then we're just going to drop all of this stuff. Probably should be throwing a barrage there and a barrage there. You see those heavies are distracting for the second. And then all of the barrage doing all of the good things. Getting our barrages on all of the machine guns. I don't have a ton of GBE. I think I have like 20% or something like that. But without smoke, those Zookas back there are done for. Absolutely done for. Um, did not dro drop them a little bit too early. Clearly, if we can get rid of that machine gun, I will be incredibly impressed. Just need one shot. There we go. That worked out fairly darn well. Let's get rid of that machine gun. Hopefully getting a little bit of luck on this barrage. There we go. Getting a lot bit lucky. And now it's just hoping yeah didn't we got a little bit lucky but not all the way lucky so machine guns are the number one reason why zookas die at the five engine room level currently uh, most people at this level probably 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 will be having mortars and boom cannons and doom cannons basically my base plus some an extra engine room i think our opponent might have fizzled though uh, we're watching that engine room. It hasn't budged in a little bit. I don't think it's budged in a little second or two. Uh, we will find out here. St people still fizzling. People with the extra GBE, probably not much. Farmer Giles giving us the first win of the day. Whew, that's a lot bit of a relief. Definitely, definitely needed to put that feather in our cap. I was talking about uh, five engine rooms, how that person did not have the boom cannon and did not have the doom cannon obviously uh to get into that next engine room level uh 90 keys i am at 62 so we need two chests to get there and uh i'm stating way 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 more obvious things than normal this video so if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and uh, other videos will be better or check out some other videos if this is just me in fight or flight mode so trying to calm myself down talking about stupid things and I YouTube people's uh, greatly greatly appreciated on that front Okay, have not seen this layout before. Have a good ride. Sorry, wife coming in to go get her sanity check on her bicycle. So uh, this is, I assume we're going to start to see some clumpy right-hand side five engine room bases. Our opponent's still scouting. I've got a second. I did mute the video there for a second in case you're wondering what went on there. Uh, same deal. Exact same deal. I'm tempted to go with fewer boats of heavies, but I just don't have the cojones for that. Showing off my just absolute brilliant Spanish knowledge there. We're going to drop you out there. We're going to drop this guy over here. And uh, barrage, barrage, barrage. Let's send some more Zookas way, way out wide left. Don't have to worry about that machine gun yet because we've got a couple boats of heavies going. And then all of our troops go in exactly where we want them to. This person did not max their machine guns because, of course, they've got Seekers. And I think I've only been cleared by Seekers once or twice, and this person managed to pull it off. So fully, fully do not recommend getting behind in chests. And again, normally there would be some form of a good joke there or an innuendo or some other form of something I just can't help it. Chests are one of my favorite things, except when they are left untouched. So there you go. I made it. I'm back. Sanity starting to be restored. Uh, let's throw a barrage on there, hoping to clear not only the flamethrower, but also the boom mine. Did we manage to... There we go. Boom mine cleared. Don't have flares. Um, 
Whoa, that was a... We'll have to mute that a little bit. We were at 10.04. Um, my other... So I'm... I'm kind of playing two accounts this season. Typically, I do play two. Good game. Tour two. What do you get? Like 336? Slow seeker time, but successful seeker time. My other account went for smoke and flare and rifles, and it is only just getting machine guns. So I've heard from a bunch of you that you've given up on this season. I can fully, fully, fully understand why. Uh, if you can get to Barrage, good things will happen. But uh, I don't even know if that account will get... I think they get to Barrage in like four hours, maybe? Just crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, <clears throat> one and one. That's better than I expected to be. So after this battle, maybe I'll pause until I get to five. Um, weird spot. I wanted to show you guys five engine rooms with the boom cannon, with the doom cannon, with the mortars, and all the rest of it. Obviously, no building health. Uh, lots of people hunkering down at, and I think all of these bases. Uh, obviously, I have more good stuff than them, so we should be in good, good shape. Or let's go like that, and like that, and like that. And I don't have the guts to throw an extra barrage on that machine gun. It might be an idea. But I just feel like maybe, just maybe, we could just keep that GBE for something slightly, slightly better. So we're going to drop our Zookas out there. Those heavies are still wrapping around towards that machine gun, losing a couple extra troops in the process. But most of the machine guns are gonzo, so we should be in decent shape. Flamethrowers taking out the... Sorry, Zooka's taking out the flamethrowers before our heavies get there, so we should still have at least one or two heavies when we get towards that machine gun. Zooka's making that long pilgrimage. By the way, great book, The uh, Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, in case you haven't read it. Um, random, 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 use the word pilgrimage, came up. One of those happy books that uh, I... If any of you read A Man Called Ove, I think I just turned that into like a Tom Hanks movie recently. Another good book along the same vein. Um, starting to decompress here and brain goes to books and chests. So uh, hopefully this video has shown you something useful. Uh, even just showing that Seekers are very, very much still viable. I saw a couple discussions Papalo, uh, getting crushed here. Yeah, three, th there we go. That's a better seeker time. Um, had a couple discussions from people. I was said like, F you can get into 15 easily with seekers. Papalo showing exactly how to get that done. Let's show a replay here. So note seekers on both sides. Don't send all your seekers to one place. You will regret it. Getting that left-hand side, getting this right-hand side, no shocks, just throwing max level barrage at all the things. That GBE node right about there paying dividends for Seeker players. You don't need it to take down most bases still though, uh, especially if the person doesn't have boom cannons or mortars or doom cannon, you can get it. Uh, seekers are very much a lesson in patience though. Um, you know what? I'm gonna... What do we got for... We got 82 keys. I will come back when I've got those keys and then we will build a base and I'll show you some five engine room. Goodness. Okay, we are there. Only one chest left to grab. Yeah, I just can't stop once I start. Sorry about that. Um, we can max out our barrage. That is gonna be very, very tempting. Probably wanna get some tokens into those heavy choppas as well. But for the moment, we're gonna jump into five engine rooms. Then we are gonna build the dirtiest of dirty base. Obviously, you could be way dirtier, but uh, I couldn't think of something better to say. Base is built and based on base, based on. Now the other bases that we saw, this is gonna be a doozy. Shout out to Mr. Orion for this base. Don't know if he built it or copied it. Regardless, far, far, far more lethal than those we saw. Now, I've got the keys to go max barrage. I'm just gonna do it. That might be something I regret, but we can get our heavy choppers up to tick four. That seems like a decent compromise. Not sure maxing them would have done us a little bit extra, but that extra barrage should be 
good. Um, also, we're not going to spend much on our gunboat. We're going to get this free building damage node there. And by that time, we'll have saved for shock launchers. So uh, let me know in the comments if that was too hasty, if I made a dumb decision. Uh, curious to hear what you have to say. I'm also very, very, very curious about how this is going to go with the five engine room base. We'll probably only do one. We're already at 15 minutes. I got to get back to life. Uh, we've fallen out of 17 as you saw. Let's see what this person's got for us. Max level barrage. Uh, I don't even know how much damage it does. I want to say like 13,000 or something like that. Should have probably checked that. We could easily bar out an engine room, but we are going to focus on getting rid of key defenses instead. Now, I am going to go a little bit slower than normal. Typically, I would do this with heavy Zooka. I've got my heavy choppas upgraded though, so we are going to focus on that for the second. One, two, three of those. Getting these guys and gals out. We're going to barrage you. We are going to barrage you and we are going to barrage something else once we have a little bit of extra goodness. We got hit by one mortar, which is less than ideal, but we've still got bunches of heavies out front getting more as they th our things get shot down. Not perfect, but because of the fact that we've got bunches and bunches of heavies, we should be in decent straits. I wish I had smoke on my other account that's doing terribly. I have really, really enjoyed throwing smoke on top of some troops, letting them blast away. But alas, that is not the case on this account. We are going to lose these right-hand side Zookas. Some of them are hopefully going to turn left. Uh, need to get some more GBE going. Of course, these guys turned right. We are probably... Nope, we should be able to get away with this. Another quick note. I have been using the blind spot of machine guns in a big, big way. So if you have flares and smoke, do th throw your flare inside the blind spot of those machine guns. It is a great, great way to make sure that your troops get there. I would also flare away right about now, but we don't have that option machine gun. Did not fire, thankfully. I was a little bit, a lot bit concerned we were going to fizzle. Instead, we are going to lose... Um, it's kind of nice to see that we are going to be cleared. That is a good, good sign. Also, I get to watch that replay to see how they cleared. Probably should have done that a little bit differently, but like I said, uh, just trying to hold on to sanity at the second. They are still in 17. We are still in 16. Lost by one measly second. If I would have thrown that final barrage on the engine room instead of the machine gun, Actually, you know what? I'll show you their replay because that is super, super valuable. Let's see how they cleared my base. What do they got for us? You got flares. You got heavy choppas going wide. Makes some sense. Let's watch that in two times mode. Zookas, that mortar. Why is that mortar not ruining their absolute life? There we go. Um, mortar, yeah, doing good, good things. Uh, but they're still kicking. Those heavy choppas getting all sorts of heavies out front. And, uh... I'm kind of amazed they managed to walk through this. Again, dropping four boats way, way, way out wide. Super, super, super useful. Getting a little bit different approach. And I assume they have max level barrage. Uh, I think lots and lots of people should have it at this point. But heavy choppas showing how useful they can be. I need to start integrating those into my attacks a bit more. We'll do one more. I've been very much anti heavy choppa up until this part in the season because when I stopped using them I finally started getting into gold and higher and this should be a great 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 opportunity for heavy choppas reminder that machine gun is going to be a complete and utter pain in the butt we're going to drop a barrage there we're going to go something like this heavy choppa coming out a little bit late we're going to let you guys um, stew out there a little bit. Just a little teeny tiny bit. Getting those heavies rocking and rolling and then getting some more Zookas out as those heavies hopefully distract that mortar bit by stinking little bit. Mortar shell got some of our dudes, but not many. 
Again, focusing on machine guns all day long. And now it would be sweet, sweet, sweet if we could somehow get rid of that mortar. That mortar is hopefully going to shoot over the heads of our troops. Will be very, very interesting to see how it goes once our troops start to get there. We've got two different sets of Zookas doing two different lines, so we should be able to dodge underneath. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then all of our Zookas making their way forwards, getting some decent value out of this. Now we just need to get that next barrage ready for that back machine gun. That is going to be our next issue. So as soon as that goes down, should be able to get rid of that machine gun, getting great value out of that one measly little heavy that turned back in that direction. And now you saw the time on this base was 2 minutes 11 seconds last time. Hoping that because of those right hand Zookas we can end up beating that. But worst case scenario, some of those Zookas turn left instead of right. And there we go, getting our barrage onto that engine room. Because that's going to do a heck of a lot more good than getting rid of that flamethrower a couple seconds early. And look at that time, still would have lost, but we're getting quicker. Two minutes and five seconds. Um, not bad, not great. Swanson Bentedos, what do you got for us? We are going to pick up the win. They are going to grind that engine room down using nothing but the heavy chopper, which will take way more patience than you or I have. Uh, this account is going to get that chest. We are going to jump on into those next bits of GBE and then 30 keys in the savings. So we're going to have to save another chest on our 4 p.m. chest, 5 p.m. chest. We're going to get into that building damage and that should launch us a little bit forwards. So if you're uh, hunkering down at four engine rooms or moving on in five, do let me know. Also, uh, thank you for your patience. I've been told to say thank you instead of sorry. So thank you for your patience as I dealt with real life stresses and uh, YouTubies. Um, you guys are super, super helpful, even if you're just lurking in the shadows. Uh, you guys sending the occasional bits of feedback on Discord, Telegram, YouTube, um, wherever the heck it else it is. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. So I shall talk to you soon. Keep that submarine diving. Consider liking, sharing, subscribing. I'm Zedmont. Peace.